In this tutorial, we will be walking through the process of retargeting your animation results to your own custom 3D character in Unity. The animations I will be working with today are generated through DeepMotion's Animate 3D cloud service. Animate 3D enables any level of creator to easily access full body motion capture without any suits or hardware. You can upload any single person video and generate an FBX or BVH animation file for that motion within minutes. If you'd like to check it out, just go to deepmotion.com slash animate 3D to learn more and sign up. The link will also be in the description. All right, moving on to the walkthrough. We will be covering Unity's workflow for retargeting humanoid characters. Step one is to import the animation. I'm importing my animation from the animation package that I downloaded through the Animate 3D portal. The zip folder will contain several FBX files. So in the folder, we will be using the file with the T pose. When you double click the file, you can see that the animation starts in a perfect T pose and after our animation results play. This T pose is located at the beginning because it will make it easier for us to retarget the animation. So let's go ahead and drag and drop the T pose FBX file into our assets folder in Unity. Step two is to change the input setting for this animation. To do this, you will click on the asset and the inspector window will appear. Navigate to the rig tab and change the animation type to humanoid. You will also need to change the avatar definition to create from this model, then click apply. This will create a new avatar definition for our animation rig. Next, click on configure. You can see the output is our animation rig and it's in a perfect T pose. All the bones are green, so that means the rig is good to go. Scroll down in the inspector window and click done. Lastly, because our T-Pose is located on the first frame of the animation, we're going to need to change the start time so that the playback does not include the T-Pose. To do this, you're going to navigate to the inspector window once more, and then to the animation tab and set the start time to one, then click apply. Step three will be importing your custom character that you would like to retarget the animation to. We will be following the same steps from step two. Navigate to your character and drag and drop it into the asset folder. So in the inspector window, navigate to the rig tab and set the animation type to humanoid to create a new avatar definition, then click apply. Now here you will see that we did experience some errors while importing our custom rig. After you click configure, you will see that the error is due to our character not being in a perfect T pose, which we do need. If you experience a similar issue, the fastest way to fix this is to go back to the inspector window, scroll to the bottom and click on pose, then enforce T pose. This forces the character joints to go into a perfect T pose. Now, you can see that there are also some joints that are gray, which means these joints are not yet mapped. You can also see that the mapping view, the head is red, which means no joint is currently mapped to the head. To fix this, we need to click on the joint that we want to be mapped to the head, drag and then drop it onto the head in the mapping view and release. This will assign the torso slash head joint to be mapped to the head. Now that everything is green, we're ready to go. At the bottom of the inspector window, click apply and done. So now we need to do some additional input settings for our new custom character model. We need to extract the material from the inspector window under the material tab. Click extract materials, then find your desired texture and drag and drop your texture into the assets folder. Now you will assign the texture to the material by clicking on the material and drag and dropping your texture to your desired mapping location. Moving on to step five, where we will be creating our animation controller. Start by right clicking in the asset folder where your animation and textures are currently living. Choose create, then animation controller. I am going to be naming mine AC Dance, but you can name this whatever you like. 
double click on the animation controller you just created and from there we will be dragging and dropping our animation from the assets folder into the animator parameters window. This setup means that on entry the dance animation will be playing. So now that we have everything linked up we just need to import them into the scene. For step six we will be importing our animation into the scene. In Unity, there are recommended hierarchies to use for retargeting. So to create one, we'll want to go into the Scene tab and in the Hierarchy window, right-click and select Create Empty to create an empty game object. Under the Inspector window, we'll name it Character. Then align it to the origin with all zero positions. Then we can drag and drop our custom character and our animation rig from the Assets folder to nest underneath the empty character game object in the Hierarchy window. Now we need to assign our animation controller to our custom character. To do this, select the custom character in the hierarchy window, then grab the animation controller in the asset folder. Mine is named AC Dance. And drag and drop it into the inspector window under the animation dropdown to the controller setting. From here, we should now be able to see our retargeting results. Double check that you can clearly see the scene by adjusting the light and pointing the camera toward the character. Once you have everything in place, it's time to press play. You can see that the character is now playing our animation. So now we have one animation, yes, but what about a second or a third? If you want to add multiple animations onto the same character within the same project, you can do that. Just repeat step one and navigate to the FBX animation file you want to use and drag and drop it into the asset folder. There are some changes we need to make to the input settings, so click on this new animation rig, go to the inspector window, and change the animation type to humanoid. Then change the avatar definition to copy from other avatar and make the source our first animation file. This will make the two animation rigs share the same avatar definition. Click apply. Now you can easily swap between these animations by clicking on the animation control in the asset folder. Drag and drop the new animation into the parameters viewer, then right click and delete the previous animation. The new animation should automatically adjust to playing on entry. Now you can go back to the Game View tab, and when you press play, you can see our new animation is now playing. All right, so that's it for this walkthrough. And again, if you would like to create your own 3D animations from a 2D video, just visit deepmotion.com slash animate3D. Thanks for watching.